Hey boys and girls, my name's Casey and this is your teacher, Miss Sarah. We have another great day of learning today. Today you'll be learning about the Mayan city of Bake Hall. I'm so excited for you. Have a great time building your knowledge. Thanks Casey. Welcome back boys and girls. We're so excited to have you back for another CKLA lesson. Today, we will continue learning about the Mayan people in the story King Pakal's Tomb. You've learned a little bit about the Mayan people with Mr. Zach and Miss LaTundra. First, let's identify where the Mayan people lived on our globe. Under the United States, in Mexico and Central America. And you can see that that's the area where they lived on our globe. Now, Let's look at our closer in map and we can see that the parts of Mexico and Central America where the Mayan people lived in the rainforest region and what's now called the Yucatan Peninsula. Can you say Yucatan Peninsula with me? Yucatan Peninsula. How many syllables does Yucatan have? Yuck-a-tan. Yucatan. That's a funny word, isn't it? But now I bet you'll never forget where the Mayan people used to live. So remember that was 3,000 years ago or so. And we have learned all kinds of details about the Mayans. And we're also going to learn about what kind of leader led the Mayan people. Now let's review the characters in our story. We have Kanal his father, Toon, his mother, Chenille, his little sister, Ikal, Uncle Zook, and his cousin, Peek. Now I want you to look out for some vocabulary words today that we're going to hear in our story. The first word is market. Can you say that with me? Market. How many syllables are in the word market? Mar. Two, that's right, market. What's a market? Market is a public space where people buy and sell goods. Just like in this picture here. This is an outdoor market and I can see that there are fruits and vegetables and people are milling around talking to one another. We're gonna come back to the word market at the end of our story to learn some more about it. The next word I want you to listen for is the word Pyramid, pyramid. Can you say that word with me? Pyramid. How many syllables in the word pyramid, boys and girls? Pyramid, pier a mid Pyramid, three syllables, that's right. A pyramid is a structure with triangular sides and a rectangular base. In earlier stories, in other lessons, you learned about Egyptian pyramids. Let's take a minute to talk about these Egyptian pyramids. Here's another picture of an Egyptian pyramid. Egyptian pyramids had steep sides. And they were very tall. Egyptian pyramids also had tombs in them, and we're gonna learn a little more about tombs in just a moment. So a pyramid is a, a structure with triangular sides and a rectangular base. And today, we're going to learn more about Mayan pyramids, and we're gonna talk about the differences and similarities in those. So we've talked a little bit about the Egyptians, and we'll come back to the Mayan pyramids. The next word I want you to look for is the word tomb. Tomb. Can you say that word with me? Tomb. How many syllables in the word tomb, boys and girls? Tomb. One, that's right. And a tomb is a place where the dead are buried. And we'll learn today that tombs were found inside the pyramid. So I want you to be looking out for these vocabulary words and let me know when you hear them in the story. And we're gonna come back and talk more about a market and a pyramid after our story. 
Now let's look back at where the story left off with Mr. Zach and Miss LaTundra. Canal and his family were taking a trip in a canoe to the big city of Bakehall to honor and thank the maize god for a plentiful harvest. Do you remember what maize is, boys and girls? Corn, that's right. So they were going to thank the god of corn for the plentiful harvest that year in the big city of Bakehall. We can look at our civilizations chart and now we know that for farming, like you learned with Mr. Zach and Miss LaTundra, they farmed corn. And our city is the city of Bakehall. We've also talked about what kind of leaders, and we're going to talk about that right after our story as well. Now listen carefully as I read to learn more about the city of Bakehall. Bolon, that is the Maya word for the number nine. Hun, Ka'a, Osh, Khan, Ho'o, Wak, Wuk, Washak, Bolon, and Lahun. That is how you say the numbers from one to ten in the language of the Maya. Tun, his wife Shanil, his brother Zuk, and the three children, Kanal, his sister Ikal, his cousin Pick, stood looking up at the most amazing building any of them had ever seen. It was nine stories high, and each story was smaller than the one below it. Boys and girls, a story is one floor or level of a building. A story can also be a description of events that's told or read aloud for entertainment, just like the story we're reading today. Wide stone steps ran up two of the four sides, reaching to the top level on which there stood a small building. It was made of stone, like the nine-stepped pyramid on which it stood. Did you hear it? Great job! I see that most of you noticed our vocabulary word, pyramid. Nine stories high, plus the temple on top, Toon said. This is the tomb of the great King Pekal. King Pakal lies buried in a great stone case at the very bottom of a hole that runs straight down the center of the temple. There is a staircase in the temple at the top of the pyramid that leads down into the tomb. What's that? Great job, boys and girls. You noticed the vocabulary word tomb. And remember, a tomb is a place where someone, usually important, is buried. Can we see it ourselves, Father? Ekal asked. No, it is a special place. Only King Pakal's son, our great King Khan Balam, is allowed inside that temple. The children looked up with even greater interest, knowing that this was a place so special that only a king might enter it. Toon glanced around to see that no one else was listening, then added in a mysterious tone, They say, there is treasure buried with King Pakal. What do you think, boys and girls? Do you think there could be treasure? Let's keep reading to find out. The three children turned to look at him with wide eyes, unsure if he was teasing or serious. He went on, some say there's green jade carved to make all sorts of fabulous jewelry, bowls, tools, and perhaps even furniture. No one knows exactly. Chenil added, except for our king, Khan Balam, it was he who put it there. That is, if the tale is true. Pick looked at his father, Zook. Do you think it is true, father? Is there really treasure? Boys and girls, did you hear them talking about jade? Have you ever heard of that before? Jade is a type of stone, a precious stone, and it's green and they would make jewelry and carvings out of it. The picture that you see shows part of the king's tomb, a sculpture of King Pakal, and a tablet that was located on the inner wall of the tomb. Zook was still staring up at the temple. He answered thoughtfully, I saw King Pakal once, long ago. 
He was dressed in robes woven of the finest cotton in many colors. And he wore a headdress of magnificent feathers from the rarest birds. He wore magnificent jade necklaces and carried a scepter carved, carved into wonderful shapes. A scepter is a wand or a rod that can symbolize royal power. He did not walk on the earth as we do, but was carried through the streets on a great chair that sat atop two long poles laid flat. Important noblemen for whom carrying the king through the streets was a great honor, carried the king anywhere he wanted to go. He turned to look at his son. I think that if King Pakal wanted to be buried with treasure of jade, then yes, there must be jade. The children looked at one another in wonder, then back at the pyramid. But Toon and Chenille looked at one another, silently sharing a different thought. They were both thinking, I have not heard Zook speak so many words at once in many years. Finally, Toon said to the others, let us go see what is on the other side of King Pakal's pyramid. I heard from a man in the market this morning that King Khan Balam is building more great buildings over there. So they hurried off to see what other sites there might be. Did you hear it? Did you hear our last vocabulary word? What was it? Right, market. And remember, we're gonna talk more about a market after our story. Have you been to a market before? Think about that so you can share in just a moment. Sure enough, Pakal's son, King Khan Balam, had ordered a whole series of buildings to be built. These new buildings were wonderful in their own way, for the roof lines of the temples on top were carved in wonderful designs. When they tired from walking around, they all went to sit in the shade of some wide spreading trees. After a while, Kanal asked, Father, why did King Pakal make such a wonderful place to be buried in? It, was, it is much greater than the places you showed us this morning where the other kings and queens are buried. Toon answered quietly, I will tell you, but you must not repeat it. The three children grew quiet, sensing that he was about to trust them with some special grown-up sort of secret. Then Toon began to tell them about King Pakal. Boys and girls, what do you think could be buried in the, tre in the tomb with King Pakal? Why do you think he had such a great pyramid or temple to be buried in? You're going to find out in some lessons after this one. So let's go back and talk about some key points from the story. We talked at the beginning about a pyramid and we know that a pyramid is a structure with triangular sides and a rectangular base. And you'd already learned in earlier lessons about Egyptian pyramids. Today, we learned more about Mayan pyramids. We know that Egyptian pyramids had steep sides and they were tall. And do you remember what they were made of? Stone, that's right. Now let's talk about the Mayan pyramids. Do you remember how many steps led up to the top of a Mayan pyramid? Nine, if you said nine, you're right. Great job. So the Mayan pyramids were shorter than the Egyptian pyramids, but they also had another stone structure built on the top like a pyramid on top of a pyramid. And do you remember how they said the outside of the Mayan temples looked? Right, they had intricate carvings. Do you know what the word intricate means? Intricate would mean fancy or lots of wonderful carvings. So these are the things that are different about 
both of these pyramids. Well, look, this one was made of stone. What about the Mayan pyramid? Was that made of stone too? Yes, it was. So we can say that both of these things they had in common, that they were made of stone. What else did they have in common? Do you remember what was inside of the pyramids? That's right, a tomb. Because many times the leaders of the Mayan and the Egyptian people were buried in their own pyramids in the tomb inside of it. Now, boys and girls, back to the types of leaders that led the Egyptian and the Mayan people. We know that the leaders of the Mayan were called what? That's right, kings. We learned in earlier lessons that the Egyptian people also had leaders. Do you remember what the Egyptian leaders were called? They were called pharaohs. Great job. Only the king was allowed in the temple and the pyramid. Toon also told us that treasure such as jade, bowls, tools, they were all found in the pyramid and the tombs with the leaders or with the kings and the pharaohs. And remember that the king was the only one allowed in the temple and the pyramid. And there were many great treasures found there too. Do you remember how King Pakal dressed? King Pakal dressed in colorful robes. He had a feathered headdress, jade jewelry, and he carried a scepter. And what else do we notice about him? Right, he's being carried around the city. He must have been a very, very important person. Now we're gonna dig a little bit deeper into one more vocabulary word that we talked about. We talked about a market. Do you remember? In the read aloud, you heard Toon say, I heard a man in the market this morning say that King Khan Balam is building more great buildings. What did we say a market is? A public space where people buy and sell goods. And I told you to think about if you had been to a market before. Did you think? Can you remember? You might hear a market called a supermarket or a grocery store. So we'll put that on our bubble map to describe a market a supermarket or a grocery store. And what did we say that you can do in a market? You can buy things. You can sell things. And remember, Toon went to the market and he was talking with his neighbors and his friends. So you can visit with friends. And 3,000 years ago, they didn't have TV or all the things that we have to do today. So going to the market to visit with their friends was very important. Markets can also be inside or outdoors. Most of the markets that we visit today are inside. But you may have heard someone talking about going to a farmer's market before. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our lesson today, and I hope that you'll join in next time to learn more about the Mayan people. Miss Sarah, that was such a good lesson. My favorite part was learning about what the kings liked to wear. We wanna thank everybody for their participation today. All rights and credits today, from today's lesson go to Core Knowledge Language Arts, and we would like to thank them for publicly sharing these wonderful resources. The views and opinions expressed in the lesson are those of core knowledge authors and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the Mississippi Department of Education. Thanks for joining us, boys and girls. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.